Welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. Hope you're having a good morning so far. Uh, the bulls definitely are because looks like it's going to be a decent start. 50 points higher on the SGX Nifty. A lot of big cues to track, so let's get straight to it. Dipan Mehta of Elixir Equities is our first guest of the day. Dipan, hi, good morning. I wanted your thoughts first up on Tata Motors because clearly they're uh, you know going big on their electric vehicle plans and uh, the stock has had a dream run this year so far. It's up 20%. Uh, do you see more upsides and if someone has perhaps missed out on the rally so far, does it make sense to get in afresh? Good morning, Sonia, and thank you for having me on your show. See, Tata Motors uh, just has this, uh, you know, thing about that from time to time to do surprises on the upside and then there are major disappointments as well. Uh, considering that the stock has run up the way it has and the kind of volatility which is there in the earnings, I'd like to stay away. You have to buy Tata Motors uh, and a contrade and play when it has corrected by 30-40% from its peak and that's when you get the highest returns. No doubt uh, the EV strategy and the positive cash flows, higher sales, especially premium and models has improved the sentiment in the stock. But it's a very global company and the kind of global economic headwinds which are there in the key markets, uh, one should be a bit cautious as regards them sustaining the kind of growth rates which they have. So. And keeping in mind the valuations, I prefer that uh, one should look at the domestic auto OEMs rather than a Tata Motors. But there's a trading rally underway and the stock will certainly fly a little higher. Mm. Uh, Deepan, hi, good morning. Uh, did you uh, manage to look at the Mastic uh, numbers? Uh, and, and if you did, uh, what, what did you make of it? Uh, could it uh, be the trigger for some re-rating there? Good morning, Prashant. I think the first thought which comes to mind, having looked at Mastec, is that we are going to see a lot of divergence in uh, results reported by the IT companies. And small mid-cap companies, I think if they have two or three good clients which have not cut back on their spending, <coughs> may be able to maintain their growth rates, at least on the top line front as we saw with Mastec. Uh, because these small mid-cap companies also have been winning orders over the past two, three years or so, some of them big ticket which may make a difference to their overall performance. When it comes to the Infosys, TCSs, they need like 500 million or those type of 100 to 5 million type of uh, orders or projects for them to sustain growth at that high level of uh, base which they are operating at. And this has been true for last two, three years. I think if you go back into the 20, 30 year history of software, this is the first time that we have seen that mid cap companies are A, trading at higher price to earning multiples than large cap, and B, they're reporting significantly higher growth rates quarter on quarter, year on year. No doubt their operating profit margins are lower. But I think size is the benefit at this point of time when it comes to IT stocks. And now I'm keenly looking forward to some of our other favorites like say Tata LXC, KPIT, CoForge, uh, Happiest Minds, just to see how they have performed and whether they are seeing severe client cutbacks uh, as we saw in Infosys. All right. Uh, hi, Dipen. Uh... Dipan, what about uh, Concord? You know, everyone was waiting by for privatization, and then that took a bit of a backseat. But the stock has seen a good correction from the top. We have Goldman Sachs have come out of the note, and they're pretty positive on the stock. What's your view? Good morning, Nigel. You know, uh, many times we have tried to play this privatization uh, theme, whether it is with uh, Concord or earlier with BML as well, uh, and even IDBI Bank. Uh, these things, they come and they go, but end of the day, you know, they are at best trading opportunities. From a fundamental perspective, you know, you need to analyze stocks irrespective of whether they are PSU or whether they are in the private sector. And no doubt logistics is a, is a, is a high growth sector given the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, upstick up which we are seeing in, uh, in, the, in the economy as well as exim trade as well. And on its own merit, I think Concord uh, may, may give decent returns. But just because it's going to get privatized on, if you make a bet based on that assumption, then you may be disappointed. Okay, uh, Dipan, just stay on. I have many more questions for you, but uh, also want to track.